911, what's location of the emergency? Yes, um, I need help here at our, our address? apartment. Avenue? Yes. Okay, what's going on there? I have my sister here, and she's acting up over some sticky shit. How old is the and sister? She's holding a knife. She's always 16. She's how old? She's 16. Okay, and what is she doing with the knife? And she's trying to stop me. Why? Because I didn't do what she wanted to do. Because she's mad, and why is she mad? I didn't do what she wanted me to do. Okay, what's her, um? What is your sister's name? Okay, what color clothing is she wearing? She's wearing black shorts. What color shirt? Okay, so she's wearing black hoodie. Okay, and where is she at right now? She's outside the balcony. She's outside? Yeah. Okay, but does she still have the knife? Yes, ma'am. Okay, who else is in the house with you? Um, all my sister's here, and including my mom as well. Okay. Okay, how long ago did she go outside? Okay, I need for you to speak up. How long ago did she go outside? Two minutes. Okay, did somebody follow her outside? No, she just walked outside. So she okay, outside. do you still see her? Yeah, I can see her. Okay. All right, and what kind of knife was it? It's like... What kind of knife? What color is it? How big is it? Uh, it has like a black handle. And okay, and what, like, is it a long knife, a short knife, a one you used to cut bread, or what kind of knife is it? I was not the one you used to cut bread, but not really the one you used to cut bread. Okay, like, is it a big one, a small one? What do you usually do with the knife that she has in her hand? We cut our veggies. What is it? We start to cut our veggies. Okay. Does your sister have any uh, access to a vehicle? No, she doesn't. Okay. All right. Is somebody outside with your sister? No, it's just her. Okay. Are you guys able to lock the doors? Yes. Okay. All right. And where is she right now? She's still outside. Where at outside? Like the balcony. Like, do you see her? Yes, I can see her. You see, okay. Is she like in a friend? What is she doing? She's just like um, wrapping herself with the blanket and just sitting outside. What, what color is the blanket? It's blue. And where is the knife? I do not know because she's facing her back here, so she's probably outside like trying to calm herself down. It's just that like she was making noise and we have like neighbors downstairs. So So yeah, I'm back here now. On August 13th, 2024, at 2332 hours, APD officers were dispatched to 4000 block of East 43rd Avenue in reference to a domestic violence disturbing involving a knife between two family members inside an apartment. Dispatch was told the subject went outside while officers were en route. Two officers arrived in separate vehicles and began searching the scene. After being unable to find the subject, officers one and two went to contact the complainant in their second floor apartment and learned the subject was on the balcony of the apartment. Evening, North United 71118 with a knife. Complaints says her 16-year-old sister's holding a knife and trying to stab her. 11 Alpha 1 and 12 Alpha 1 have you direct that direction. Uh, oh. is around. Our suspect's going to be in a Samoan female wearing a black hoodie, black shorts. Complaints saying the suspect is now outside of the building and still has a knife in her possession. Looks like the suspect has for East 43rd's been outside at least two minutes. And our complainant stayed inside, so she no longer has a visual of where her sister's at outside. So your sister has access to vehicles? We're still to find out. And the knife appears to be some type of kitchen knife used to cut vegetables. It's got a black handle on it and no access to vehicles. I haven't seen any foot traffic other than the lady that was walking that way, which looked like she was wearing leggings. It didn't really seem to mind our presence. Be wrong, but I think A is on the south side. I'm on that one. It's going to be close to the I think. I can do that too. I'm going to come back. Yeah. 
It is going to be all the way on the south. She's gone. No, she's still outside. Like, where, she's do you know she where she's at? Yeah, she's at the balcony. Oh, she's she, on the balcony right now? No, she's sitting outside the balcony. She's gonna be on the uh, on the other side. No, she's west side of the building. She's on the ground level. No. Where's she at? On the balcony right here? Yeah. On the balcony here? out here. Okay. Officers one and two enter the apartment and immediately begin to interact with family members present. In total, 10 family members were in the apartment at the time of APD's response. Per protocol, APD officer one and two asked family members of the subject to vacate the apartment's living room for everyone's safety so officers could attempt to contact the subject on the balcony. Okay. Like she's in the apartment, so. Yeah. <laughs> Can we get the kiddos out of here? Does she still have the knife with her? No, she just Okay. Can you can you get up and leave too? Just back down, please. For safety reasons, because I don't if we have a confrontation, I don't want to deal with you and her. I don't know what she's gonna do, and neither do you. Please so leave. Point, we're just asking you to just move further back. That's all. Okay? That's all we're asking. Hey, we need some more in, in the apartment to help hey, manage these folks. They're being a little bit 1032. Oh my gosh. So does she still have the knife with her? Do we know if she still has the knife with her? I don't know. I was in her. Okay. No. No, we don't want anyone I need you guys to go in, back no, into the rooms, to, please. That, we don't want to have any other conversations with her or if it gets escalated. Hey, listen, we need some units in here to help with crowd control. We're, we're trying to deal with the family before we confront the suspect. The living space was confined and dimly lit. Family members were not complying with officers' requests and appeared to be disagreeing about whether the complainant should have contacted the police. These circumstances prompted officers to request more officers in the apartment to assist. This one? Oh, she's visual from here, so just let us know. Are you on the seat? She's on the balcony wrapping the blanket. Hey, listen, we need some units in here to help with crowd control. We're, we're trying to deal with the family before we confront the suspect. They're refusing to go into their rooms. Copy. I'm sending two to you. Give me one of the outside here. I probably only need one. The rest of you better than I'll just leave my car right there. While backup was en route, Officer 2 asked multiple times whether the subject was still armed with a knife and did not receive an answer. 
family members were often non-responsive to officers and continued speaking to each other. To deal with something further, okay? So just step back for now, please. If she comes at us with a knife, yes. She's not gonna come with we don't know that, and you don't know that, okay? What we're trying to do is escalate the situation. I mean, de-escalate the situation, which means we're trying to prevent her from doing anything further. I don't think you guys coming in with those to her. Right now, we're trying to protect you and her. This okay? has nothing to do with us. This is between her and her. That's fine. But right now we need all of you to move back in case things get out of hand. We don't want that yes. happening, but we need you to move back please to the other room. Can you please do that? We want to do it in the safest way possible. Right now we need all of you to move back in case things get out of hand. We don't want that yes. happening, but we need you to move back please to the other room. Can you please do that? We want to do it in the safest way possible. She's not even that hard. She's, she's never she's like really that. She's really not like she's that. She's not like that. Then, if that's the case, but I don't have an issue. Right now, we need to that's going to cause some problem to her. We're, we're going to try to talk to her and try to work through everything. You she really needs to safely get her detained. The kids are in here and now they're crying because they're pointing guns. Nobody's pointed any guns. Oh my gosh. 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 I, I know it's a stressful situation for everyone, but can you give, can you give us a little bit of space? Does she still have... Can you turn the phone off, or if, if he needs to watch it to keep him calm, can he go into a room with you? And she, does she still have the knife with her? This is this is honestly not the first time this has ever happened. This is it was always like this between them at home, back at home. But for her to call you guys because of this shit, this. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm it's sure you guys talk to the other stuff, officers. Right, but my concern right now is if she still has the knife with her. Is it okay if I yeah. talk to her? Like, crack the door? We're yeah, we can't let you get close because we gotta make sure you're safe too. We, we can't let you get close right to right us. We can't do we that until you go into the room. room. We can do our business safely. Yeah, we can talk. We can talk to her, right. we can deal with her, and then we can talk to you guys. Right now you're throwing a whole bunch of wrenches in the mix that doesn't need to be. Throwing a what? You're, you're throwing a whole bunch in the mix. You're making this harder for us because we're having to focus on your safety. Our safety and hers, instead of just our safety and hers. We're just trying to make sure that my sister's okay. Well, so are we. That's our goal here. Okay, can you please go into the other room so we can focus Is on her? Is it okay her. if I just stand here? I would prefer if you went into the other room. room. We, you guys want to stand in the doorway? That means in the doorway where you are. Everybody needs to be behind you. Once additional officers arrived on scene, the family was moved into a bedroom doorway, allowing officers one and two to contact the subject. Officer 1 opened the sliding glass door to the balcony, and the subject was observed sitting with a blanket over her head, covering her body. Officer 1 attempted verbal contact with the subject, ordering her to show her empty hands to demonstrate she was no longer armed. The subject did not respond to Officer 1's commands. During additional attempts at contact, Officer 1 conveyed to the subject that failure to comply with commands could result in harm, and that several methods to gain compliance could be used. The subject still did not respond to Officer 1's commands. Eventually, the subject stood up and turned towards the officers with a knife in her right hand. She began to advance towards the officers and was commanded multiple times to drop the knife as Officer 1 and 2 moved backwards to create more distance. Ultimately, Officer 1 discharged his service weapon while Officer 2 discharged a 40 millimeter launcher at the subject. Everybody needs to be behind you. Okay, they're right here. This doesn't give us any standoff. Hey, go ahead and show me your hands. Show me open, empty hands. It's the Anchorage Police. If you do not comply, you could be injured. Can you get me 
Open empty hands. We are not going away. We want to help you. Can we get our first name? What's your first name? What's that? I need to see open empty hands, please. Show them. I can't see them from behind you. Put them above your head, please. Please show me open empty hands. Your non-compliance could result in injury. I don't want to hurt you. We have lethal, we have less lethal options. We have taser, we have canine, we have 40 millimeter launcher, okay? Face away from me. Drop the knife, drop the knife, drop the knife. Knife on the ground right here. Immediately after discharging their weapons, officers conducted life-saving measures on the subject and requested medics respond. Officers 3 and 4 continued to separate the parties while life-saving measures were conducted. Medics transported the subject to a local hospital where she was pronounced deceased.